here's three ways you can get a hand-drawn look in Adobe Illustrator. I'm just going to use these icons that I've already drawn to show you the three different techniques. So I like this first one because you don't have to expand your strokes. All you have to do is select the whole image, go to the effect menu, distort and transform, and select roughen. I typically keep this on relative and just adjust the size and details. Remember that you can use decimals to go even lower than 1% and really just mess around with the size and detail until you get the look that you want. I like how it looks with a low size and a medium detail and also setting my points to smooth. Now, depending on your drawing, you want to adjust these until it just looks the way that you want it to. Sometimes shorter lines and longer lines don't look the same with the effect. So you can separate parts of your drawing and adjust these settings based on the size of your artwork pieces. This technique gives you the least control, but it allows you to edit the drawing afterwards. The second step is the one that I use the most. Just select your artwork, go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and then set the percentage based on your artwork. My artboard is at six by six inches, so I usually set my blur to 2%. This gives me just enough blur for the next step. With this artwork still selected, go to Object, Rasterize. Make sure your resolution is set to 300 DPI and make sure that the background is set to white. Click OK, and now you're going to live trace this. So once you hit image trace, click this little button right here to open up the image trace settings. Click this little triangle to open the advanced menu. Set your threshold kind of high, but not all the way to the right. Do the same thing with your paths and corners and keep the noise somewhere in the middle. Make sure to check ignore white down here at the bottom and then come back up here and click expand. This is going to give you a really cool natural look in the easiest and quickest way possible. All right, for the last step, you're just going to select your artwork, go to object, expand, and make sure that everything is expanded. Now use the Pathfinder to merge these things together, but make sure that you're not merging the inside empty paths. You just want your black artwork to be solid together. Now I take my tablet pen and just start rounding out these corners. It's a little bit of work, but it gives you the most control. This is the technique I use a lot when I'm doing commissions and things where I want the artwork to come out extremely perfect. The second technique kind of does a similar thing, but just a lot faster. So I do that when I'm making my personal art and it's not like a really serious project. If it's something I know I really need to spend some more time on, I will do a combination of both of these and get a little bit of the more natural, uncontrollable settings from the second technique and refine them and finish them with the third. So yeah, there's three really cool techniques to get a nice hand-drawn look in Illustrator starting from super clean vector artwork. And if you want to see how I made these illustrations, watch this video. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for checking out my videos. And like always, we'll catch you on the next one.